Hi, this is the first time the video has a voice. What I'm going to do as you're watching the video play is to talk about the progression of the snowpack at the 44th degree latitude. We've seen it all this year. Snow, freezing rain, cold temps and warm temps, to single digits above freezing to the mid 50s, multiple freeze, thaw and melt cycles. What are the implications for the backcountry snowpack? The good news is that there is snow cover. The bad news is that the snow cover is not dense enough to ski yet. And it may have shrunk over the warming cycle that occurred February 10 to 11. At that, before that time, let's say, there was about a two inch, maybe three inches of a soft snow on top of a crust layer, uh, less than an inch thick. Uh, and underneath that, about 12 inches plus to 18 of unconsolidated snow before the ground level. Now, what I wanna talk about is this unconsolidated snow layer, which is metamorphosized snow snow or ice crystals, I think of it as sawdust, with lots of air and absolutely no support. Okay, the result of multiple cycles of rain and thaw, melt freeze cycles, the water from the rain has been absorbed by the snow crystals, transforming their shape, structure, shrinking them, and forming non-geometric shapes what was a cubic space of soft powder snow with relative air density or pockets has been transformed into a cubic space filled with a fragile lattice work of loosely held together ice type crystals with more than double the air density. This is what the unconsolidated snow layer becomes over time with the weather elements of rain, warm and cold temps, and multiple freeze-thaw cycles. The result, the unconsolidated layer immediately collapses with any force greater than what it can support. Undisturbed, the ice crust on top provides a protective layer that perpetuates this snowpack. Only the lightest animals and large birds don't break through, but heavier animals, such as deer, break through as well as us humans. My guess is that a weight or force greater than 25 pounds would be enough to break through this crust layer and sink to the bottom. So what does this mean for backcountry skiing at the 44th latitude? Basically, without snow, we have to wait. We have to wait for the snowpack to consolidate and firm up and support a skier's weight. Last year, the backcountry opened up after February 20th, and in some places it was early March at this location. So for this year, we still have time and we, can, and we still have hope. Okay. So for new snow to open up the backcountry, a minimum depth of 16 inches would be necessary. Again, there's time. So fingers are crossed. The hope is that either will occur before the snowpack melts out or is undermined from the bottom as spring transitions. So hang in there. Do your part to help minimize climate change and let me know what you thought of the voice. Okay, until next time, see you guys. Take care.